bamboo. Hmm. Huh? It's so quiet here. Not even the side, the side, the side of a Pokemon. All right, let's see what I can find. In I go, out I go. Whoa! Where? <laughs> Didn't expect to find something so soon. A bamboo? Hmm. I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene so I can figure out what exactly happened here. Bamboo. The Berserk Pokemon came all the way here, huh? The Charcoal Master was right to lock the gate. Okay, let's see what I can find. Yes. These footprints p uh, paint a clear picture of what went down here. Gotta make sure not to miss anything. Paw prints. Hmm. Pokemon footprints, big ones and small ones. Just for the depth of the, the big ones, the Pokemon the, that planted them must have been heavy. Let's get this bigger, the uh, footprints keep getting and going straight down the path. As for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Looks like they were around the corner, or what, 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 looks like they round the corner up ahead and continue towards this side path. Alright. Ah, uh, Bamboo. <sighs> Working by boo stocks. Looks like they're all broke at once. Okay. Based on the coloration of the cross section, these look were likely happened this morning. Alright. Oh, the sign. Uh, the, the sign. <laughs> the fence! Ugh. You need to have a lot of force to leave scratch marks that deep. Could that have been made by some kind of machine? No. Maybe a Pokemon's claw? Scratches on the bamboo fence. Anything else I need to look at? Um... Hello? Mm. Oh, spot. Hmm. I see scorches on the ground. A big one and a small one. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. The nearby grass and bamboo don't look burnt, though. Doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the scorches were made by an electric type move. Hmm. That's all there is to see here. Is this how he gets Pikachu? Yes. I've got everything I need to make my deductions. Should I go ahead and figure this out? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. I'll start going f f over the information I've gathered and try to deduce what happened here. Uh, battle of Pokemon. Okay, what happened in the Bamboo Forest? Uh, <laughs> bad weather. Pokemon battle each other. Where's the different size of a sets of footprints? Tell me that there was a big Pokemon and a small Pokemon. Judging by how these footprints were formed, the two definitely encountered each other here. Next, the scorch marks on the ground. Those were likely caused by a Pokemon using an electric type move. Based on the evidence, some Pokemon definitely got into a scrap with one another. With all that said, if I follow both these footprints, I should be able to find the Berserk Pokemon. But do you want to? I mean, he does. But should you? <laughs> mm. If I follow the footprints of these two Pokemon, I should be able to get some clarity on what went down here. I just hope it'll lead me to the Berserk Pokemon and not get hurt. Hmm? Punchan! Just a baby. Uh. Uh. Yeah, Pikachu. If you just back the fuck off already. <laughs> uh, 
Water. I guess there are two Pokemon that uh, made the smaller footprints. Looks like Punch Out's injured too. I'm gonna take a look and try not to tick off that Pikachu even more while I'm at it. Something, something. I won't hurt you. I'm just gonna take a look. Your little papa. Hmm. Seems like it can't move its arms and legs too well. Maybe it's paralyzed. Hmm. Ooh, picture protecting Pancham. It looks pretty worked up. Guess it doesn't like humans. That's right. It would probably make sense that the scorch marks I saw on the ground earlier was caused by that poke Pikachu using an electric type move. Pika Pika! Alright. Pajam looks exhausted and is injured too. It must be feeling pretty lousy. The small uh, paw prints I saw, or footprints I saw earlier, must have been Pajam and Pikachu's. They were probably attacked by a big Pokemon. Pancha. Yes. Okay. I have a good sense of what's going on with these Pokemon now. <clears throat> Is that it? Hmm. Pajam's low on energy and paralyzed too. It's in poor sha uh, worse shape than I thought. Hmm. What can I use to treat Pancham's injury? I might find something... If I search around town. This... I think... Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing noises outside my door. Like, am I hearing, like, Chai trying to get into the room? Or is it my aunt <laughs> making noises? It is 4.34 a.m., so it could be either or. I just need to uh, keep looking until I find something. Hang in there, Pancham. Help is on the way. Uh. <laughs> Mushroom. Oh, <laughs> it's like leave me alone. How far do they go? Um. Hello. Hmm. This path is also blocked by bamboo. I'll check it out after I help the punch him. Alright. There's something up there. <gasps> the honeybees. I'm surprised the game's letting me go this far out. Ah! Bidoof. Touch the bidoof. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what's on the floor? It's uh, just an arrow telling me which way I can go. I feel silly. I'm also very tired. <laughs> I need to go to sleep soon because I have to work today. Day, even though it's usually my day off, but whatever. I'm busy with Memorial Day. I, I just leave it wide open. That's a smart thing to do. Uh, oh wait, the the lady. You know Madison. I love to hear what you think of the pizza. Nope. Okay. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh. What do you want to know? About the Pikachu. Oh. The Pikachu, eh? It's new to the area. Only started seeing it around recently. Seems like it's a little prickly, sort of, if you ask me. You'd better, uh, you best not bother it too much. Yeah, I heard that firsthand. I right, learned that. It stood its ground to protect an injured Pancham. Got your little Pokemon, eh? It's worthy of praise in my book. Uh, about healing the Pokemon. Something, something. Do you have any sort of medicine by chance? Are you hurt? I warned you about going in there. Nah, it's not for me. There's an injured Pancham that needs some help. Ah, I see. Hmm. Let me think. How about that bag of ice? I reckon you could use it if it's to ice its wounds. Oh. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Thanks. Is something wrong? Hmm. I found an injured Pokemon. Do you know where I can get something to heal it? 
You should try the herbal remedy shop. Their stuff works uh, works for everything. Hey, yeah. Herbal medicine might just be do the trick. I'll head over there right now. Thanks. Are you herbal? No. Are you? No, you're curry. Uh, you're, you're not herbal. <laughs> but maybe he knows something. I'm happy to help with your detective work in whatever way I can. About Pikachu. Apparently, a Pikachu recently started living in the bamboo forest. As an electric type Pokemon in a place full of grass and bug Pokemon, it really stands out. I just hope it hasn't run into any berserk Pokemon. Hmm. I actually encountered that Pikachu earlier. It seems pretty wary of people. Oh yeah? I'm glad to hear it's okay. Wait, does that mean you managed to borrow the keys from the charcoal shop master? Sure did. Uh, about healing Pokemon. Could you help me out with something? I came across an injured Pancham. And it's pretty rough, in pretty rough shape. Oh no, an injured Pancham? Hmm. First and foremost, it needs to get its strength back. I know, take this. Wait, a whole pizza? That's right, it's made with healthy herbs. Oh, that looks like eggs. That Pancham will be back in full strength in no time. Once its belly is full of this. Uh, oh, I see. Well, thanks. Uh, do I still to go to herbal place? Herbal? Uh, okay, nope. Was there an herbal place? Are you? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an herbal place. <laughs> like, I saw the drawers. Like, oh, yeah, they store them in there. Yeah. Oh, welcome. Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herbal remedies shop? No herbal remedies. So just a shop then. We've sold through, uh, through most of our inventory. The owner left to get some more ingredients, but he's still not back. I guess I caught you at a bad time. Eh, not really. I'm just holding down the fort here, so I've got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, is that your card? Let me see here. A detective? Wow! You don't meet one of those every day. Ask away, I guess. I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now anyway, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. Apparently there was a Pokemon going berserk in the bamboo forest. It caused all sorts of trouble. I wonder if it's just in a bad mood. Maybe it'll. I'll give it. Ugh. I'll give it some herbal medicine if it runs into each other. Yari, yari. Love where your head's at, but there's print. <laughs> they're pretty dangerous. Better stay clear. Still, I wonder if herbal me medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief to the just about any ailment. I take it every day, which is why I'm always full of energy. <laughs> well, that's one mystery solved. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. Hmm. The bamboo forest is closed off right now, though. Is that why the owner's away? Yeah. He had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? And what's up? We only have herbal medicine here. And that's exactly what I need. There's an injured Pancham that could use some attention. It's very weak, and I think it's paralyzed too. You know, I think I have the thing. I sh it should be right here. The heal power powder should cure its paralysis. Yay. Perfect. Thanks a million. I wanted to give it you an energy route too, but I think we're out. Sorry about that. They work wonders for re restoring your strength. No worries at all. The heal powder on it, its own will be a huge help. Oh, fuck. There's one more thing. Uh, about the energy route. <sighs> so about the energy route, do you know where I can find one? 
I'd like to track down uh, some myself if possible, so I'd be appreciate any bit of information that you could offer. Or assuming that isn't a trade secret or something. Sorry, I'm not really supposed to share that kind of stuff. Yeah, I figured. Guess it was worth a shot. The other son probably uh, goes to the bamboo forest to collect energy fruits. He's got a real knack for finding them, but he won't tell us adults about how he does it. The owner just leaves the job to his son at this point. He won't share his tips with any of the adults, huh? Interesting. Where is he now? He used to collect rocks at the bamboo forest before it was closed off. Now I think he just plays around there. Thanks. I'll go see if I can find him. It's the same kid we talked to. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's go talk to the kid. Hey. Hmm. Hey, kiddo, I heard your dad owns the herbal remedy shop. You visit our shop, huh? Find anything good? Yeah, I got some heal powder. They were all out of energy roots, though. Oh, energy roots. There's a trick to finding those. So I've heard. Could you give me some pointers? I need to find some uh, one to help with injured Pokemon. Um, so... You go inside the bamboo forest, right? And... Then the energy roots are... The energy roots are... Where? I don't know. Should I really share my secret? It's kind of cool being the only one who can find him. How about this? I'll tell you if you can bring me an oval stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, kid? You're gonna play a hardball with me? <sighs> Fine. I'll get you an oval stone. Where does one find an oval stone anyway? Happen he has it. If you see a bush moving in the bamboo forest, sometimes a happening will come out. A bush in the bamboo forest, huh? Okay, I'll keep my house filled. Off I go to get an energy stone. <laughs> it's 4.44 a.m. <laughs> Too many fours. Oh, hi, Mocha. A baby girl. ba 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 Okay, let's see if I can find a bush. <laughs> I know I saw one over here, right? <laughs> I guess this is this hmm. a really bush. It's mm, bamboo, I think. Okay, um, hmm. Hmm? did something just move? Oh, hello. Guardian of the Bamboo Forest. God, I hate this thing. <laughs> it's so ugly. Shift. Oh, it's a shift tree. You scared me, pal. Or maybe I scared it. Shift, shift. Hey, my bad. I'll be careful next time. Okay. Uh, where's another bush? Bush, bush, bush. Hmm. I think I heard something just now. There we are. Love egg-shaped rocks. Relatable. <laughs> hap hap. It's a happity. That thing you're holding is an oval stone, right? Not an egg. Happy hap. Oh, you're giving it to me? Thanks. You're one generous Pokemon. Why is there a diglet? Hmm. What's this hole? Let's see. Looks pretty deep. I used to poke around in holes like this when I was a kid. I remember looking inside for for Diglett. Okay, well let's uh, let's get the root secret because <laughs> I don't know how to get it yet. Ba da ba 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 ba. I got an oval stone to give to this kid. Oh God, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Hoyere. <laughs> Do you have an oval stone? Hmm. Here it is. Is this what you were looking for? Yeah, that's it. Let's consider it a symbol of our friendship. Take good care of it, okay? I feel thank you. I'll tell you my secret for finding the enemy right now. Behold! 
bananas. A berry. Yep, a nut berry. It's Blueberry's favorite. Bunnaberry, Blueberry. <laughs> Fuck. If you see a hole in the ground, try holding up one of these to it near it. Bunnelby will smell the berry and come out. Once it does, look inside the hole. That's where the editors roots are, eh? Alright. I'll give it a shot. Thanks. Good luck, mister. I hope you can find that uh, you can help that injured Pokemon. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's go back all the way to that hole, which apparently doesn't have a diglet like I thought, but apparently a bunnelby. Coming for you guys. I got fresh pizza and herbs and soon to be root. Oh, also an ice pack. I completely forgot about that. Hmm. A hole in the ground. Is this it? If this works, bunnelby will uh, should come out. <laughs> it's so cute! I hate it evolves! <laughs> Just like the freaking squirrel. Or, yeah, it was a squirrel. I, dude, when I, when I first saw this Pokemon, I was so excited to use it in my team. And then it evolved, like, oh fuck no. <laughs> Not doing that! Benno. Whoa, you scared me! It popped out before I could even take out the nab berry. Hey, hey! Don't go shoving your ear in my pocket! What? Fun! You took my nibberry! Oh, well, guess it was meant for you anyway. Oh, actually, <laughs> I almost forgot. I gotta do this! Eh. I almost forgot I gotta set my timer for Pokemon Sleep. Hopefully, it doesn't get picked up. <laughs> He's gonna sing to me for a bit. <laughs> You can take that and I'll take a look inside its hole. Uh, this hole, not in its hole. Oh god. It's pretty deep. Mm hmm. There's something in there. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Whoa. Look at the shape. This is definitely an energy root. Oh god. I did not expect it to be so yellow. Time to do. Yes. Okay, all right. I found some things that might help. I just gotta evaluate which of them will work best for Pancham. I mean, I could always just choose something at random and see what happens. But Pancham is pretty rough shape. I probably sh shouldn't overwhelm it with stuff that might not work. Oh god. Ugh, okay. <laughs> it's like I'm burping. I'll choose something I know that will make it feel better. This. Hmm. Pachem is low on energy and paralyzed. The obvious answer is to treat those two things with the energy root and heal powder. I'll bring him to Pachem right away. But... So good with that pizza. Yes. Give him that pizza, man. Alright. I've got all the medicine I need to heal Pancham. Hello, I'm Bayak. Sorry for the wait. I, I brought you some medicine. Pika pika. Good job keeping Pancham safe, Pikachu. So, so mad. It's like, it's okay. Don't worry. I got shit. There we go. Oh, it's okay. Dude, punch him so cute. <laughs> Yata! Yata! I love him. 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 
Uh oh. A Pokemon roar. Sounds like it could be from uh from the far end of the forest. Am I finally gonna meet this berserk Pokemon? Pika, Pika, Pikachu. You gotta at least trust me a little now, right? How are you? Yeah. Panja. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice one, Panja. I can tell you're feeling better. Way to hang in there. Yeah, it's, uh, stay out of the danger, though. <laughs> stay out of the danger zone. It's a hoot hoot! Berserk! <laughs> it arrives exactly on time. For what? Uh, hmm. that hoot hoot looked pretty panicked. I bet it saw something terrifying. It probably saw the same thing I'm looking for. The berserk Pokemon. The berserk Pokemon must be near where that hoot hoot was. I'll investigate this area and figure out uh, how I can get there. Climb the rock. Just okay. Hmm. Check out the series and see if they can get through to the other side. Let's see. Hmm. What about gold duck feet? I mean, it could be anything, honestly, but. <laughs> These footprints are the same ones that I saw in the entrance. It seems safe to, to assume that they were made by the Berserk Pokemon. It'll be difficult to follow these footprints with so many bamboo stalks in the way. Mm. These bamboo stalks are broken into the same uh, same ones at the entrance. The berserk or the bricks seem pretty fresh too. Fallen bamboo. With so many fallen bamboo stalks blocking the way, I don't think there's any space for me to get through. Yes. I think that's all that there is to see here. Alright. What about over this? Hmm. Now that I'm getting a proper look, this is quite the sight. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much to, uh, to see here, but you never know until you look. I'll go ahead and investigate. This huge boulder must have broken apart when it fell down here. Now it's more like a cliff space. Big boulder. Hmm, the boulder's pretty tough. I don't think it'll break apart any further. Yeah, you can climb that. Climb it, son. This looks like it's used as a path up the hill, but it's been completely eroded. I'm not sure if this boulder fell naturally or the berserk Pokemon knocked it loose. But either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. Yes. I think that's all there is to say now. Ba 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 ba. BBC Swedish to me Let's do sing time. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm losing it. Ah, I gotta go to bed. Okay, time to figure this thing out. Uh. How can I reach for the hoot hoot? Climb the big boulder. <laughs> the boulder crushed the path leading up the hill. But the path should still continue up top the hill. If I climb that up the boulder, I should be able to get to the path and make my way to the berserk Pokemon. Yay! That's what I said. Good. Yes. If I climb this up to the boulder, I should find a path. Getting back down might be tough, though. Ugh. I'll figure it out later. Time to get climbing. Climb, climb, climb. Sure. Yep, no problem. <laughs> Just don't fall. No. You're not going in there. Phew been a while since I ha did something like this. I'm definitely out of shape. 
there's that path. This ought to lead me to uh, closer to the Berserk Pokemon. We're just looking around real quick, seeing if there's anything to interact with, but no. How did they get in? I can't hear nothing. Hmm? I thought that was a peachy for a quick second. <laughs> oh, he has some beef with them. Hey, wait, isn't that that one guy from the first game? It is him! He's acting all wimpy! That fucker! Just throw it at him and run. He's <laughs> like, no way! Jose, I'm kicking his ass! Oh, Pikachu, please. <laughs> it's a steel type. You rescue Pikachu from bamboo. Uh oh, smash button. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was waiting for something to pop up. I wasn't expecting a smash. <laughs> I need to read. I'm fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, pick up the Pikachu, he's not fast enough. Oh, hey, Bluce. And then they died. I mean, they can't have died, obviously, because <laughs> we're in the past right now. Hey, we're in the present now. Pikachu, Pikachu, te va. You're awake. Uh, yeah, Tim. Hmm, guess I fell asleep. Hey, Pichu. This isn't the first time that that's happened. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. Whoa, whoa! I doze off for a bit, and you're acting like I'm about to keel over or something. That's not what I meant, but... Okay, sorry. It's fine. Anyway, I just remembered. I've been here before, a long time ago. Huh? What do you mean? Would you just remember this place? Mm. What do you remember, Pikachu? I came all the way to Bamboo Burrow after hearing about the Berserk Pokemon. While I was there, I borrowed a gate key from the charcoal shop master. I battled Laron and, uh... Oh yeah, the Bamboo Forest is also where Harry and I first met. Takes me back. You borrowed a key and met my dad? Hey, did something happen to Pikachu? He faded earlier, but now he's acting like nothing has uh, is wrong. Er, uh, yeah, he's fine, I think. Who, me? Never been better. <laughs> I got a few questions. Uh, you borrowed a key to the gate? Mm. What do you mean, you borrowed the key to the gate? I came to this town because I was... I heard that a Pokemon had gone berserk in the forest, bam or bamboo forest. But I couldn't get into the forest to investigate like I wanted because the gate was locked. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man, he was stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. Uh huh. You borrowed the key from the charcoal shop master? Yeah, in exchange for fixing the elevator. I guess you do need a key to open the gate for him, but. Hmm. You got a little Laron? Mm. I forgot that they're called Larons, actually. I didn't remember the name of them. I remember the, the first word was Aaron, which is really cute. And then after that, I don't remember shit. 
Do you, do you really battle there in the last time you were here? Yep, battled it twice in the bamboo forest. Once when I saved Pancham, and then again when I saved Harry. That Laren did not know what to do, when to quit. It just kept coming at us. But I hit him with my electric type move. Hmm. Did you use the electric type moves? Maybe he could still use them back then. You met my dad here. So, about the first time you met my dad. That was back when I was investigating the bamboo forest. I found some footprints. And then I crossed a river to get into the bamboo forest and wound up living here for a while. It's weird how he's like taking both memories of himself as Pikachu and Harry and fusing them together. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I saw Harry, I jumped out because I thought he, he was dangerous. Mm hmm. Huh? I get that's where you two met, but huh. I'm not quite sure I can make sense of your story. Seems like a lot happened when Pikachu and Dad first met. But some of these pieces aren't quite fitting together. I have to organize all this information. Time to deducing. So like about Pikachu's story doesn't add up. I wonder if he's mixing up his dreams with reality. He's probably getting mad if I suggest that though. I gotta clarify some things with him after he settled down. For now, I'll go over what Pikachu said and try to figure out which part of his story doesn't add up. He do sing. Oh. Pikachu's story seems to con contradict itself. Let me think this through and figure out which parts of his story does add up. Uh, getting the key doesn't add up because why would he... Yeah. <laughs> also, Pikachu can't talk to other people. I can't promise he's gonna fix the gate. It, it doesn't add up. If I remember correctly, Pikachu said that he met Dad in the bamboo forest. Since Pikachu entered the bamboo forest by crossing a river, Dad had to have been the one to use the key to open the gate. Maybe he heard that story from Dad, got the details mixed up, and thinks he's the one who got the key. Sparkle. Are you sure you're all right, Pikachu? Shouldn't shouldn't you stay behind and get some rest? You worry too much, Tim. Let's hope Jessica first, then ask questions later. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect her. If those people who are after her decides to show up, good call. All right, Pikachu, let's go. Yeah, and this. Uh, oh god, things are happening. Uh, it's where I'm... I think I'm gonna call it? Um, I'm either gonna call it now or I'm gonna like combine this episode with another half of the episode. But in the meantime, I am calling it. But we'll see if this actually is the end of this episode. Anyway, bye sort of. <laughs> Maybe? Bye bye